Hi, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this episode is entitled The Dangers of Being Easily Offended. As I write and speak to you, I am inclined to believe that the power of the spirit of offense is keeping many bound. Selective hearing exacerbates this evil. Remember this. Receiving the word of the Spirit is integral to the battle, for the word of God is living and active and full of power, making it operative, energizing, and effective. It is sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating as far as the division of soul and spirit, the completeness of a person, and of both joints and marrow, the deepest parts of our nature, exposing and judging the very thoughts and intentions of the heart. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 of the Amplified Version. This is spiritual and of God. We are warned, do not think that I have come to bring peace on the earth. I have not come to bring peace but a sword of division between belief and unbelief. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34 of the Amplified Version. Every divisive act on display is setting the standard. We are either for God or against him. Not understanding that women against men, black against white, and every other alienating conduct is deeply rooted in spiritual warfare. The battle lines have been drawn. This is why Jesus said, and blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. Matthew chapter 11, verse 6 of the King James Version. Many false prophets are of their father who comes only to kill, steal, and destroy. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his own life for the sheep. But the hired man who merely served for wages, who is neither the shepherd nor the owner of the sheep, when he sees the wolf coming, deserts the flock and runs away. And the wolf snatches the sheep and scatters them. The man runs because he is a hired hand who serves only for wages and is not concerned about the safety of the sheep. John chapter 10, verses 11 through 13. Itching ears will get you exactly what you want. Instant gratification that bears no fruit. Heed this warning. I am the good shepherd and I know without any doubt those who are my own and my own know me and have a deep personal relationship with me. John chapter 10, verse 14 of the Amplified Version. Now the Lord is confirming what he told me last time through his word. Jesus answered them, did I not choose you, the 12 disciples, and yet one of you is a devil or the ally of Satan? And that's John chapter 6, verse 70 of the Amplified Version. We as humans are so fickle and never satisfied, looking for doubt in every situation, if it doesn't fit our narrative. And the false prophets, preachers, and pastors are the blind that are leading us, who are also blind, into a ditch. Meditate on this scripture that exposes false witnesses and concepts. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. King James Version. Look at the Amplified Version for a clearer understanding. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violent assault, and violent men seize it by force as a precious Prize. Matthew chapter 11, verse 12. This is explained clearly in Matthew chapter 11, verses 16 through 19. 
We will scrutinize and make excuses for our unbelief instead of seeking him for ourselves, making us more able to withstand the wiles of the devil. Regardless of how the message is presented, we will find fault in it. But understand that those who come to you in truth will be absolved of God. They will be known by their fruit. But to what shall I compare this generation? It is like little children sitting in the marketplaces who call to others and say, we pipe the flute for you, playing the wedding song, and you did not dance. We wailed sad dirges, playing the funeral song, and you did not mourn and cry aloud. For John came neither eating nor drinking with others, and they say he has a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking with others, and they say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners, including non-observant Jews. Yet wisdom is justified and vindicated by her deeds in the lives of those who respond to me. That is the amplified version. I understand clearly now that I will do what God tells me to because there will always be those who persecute truth. This next passage will sting, but it is of God and confirms his validation of whom he calls. And into whatsoever city or town you shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy and there abide till you go from there or until you leave. And when you come into a house, salute it, or say, peace be to this house. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. In other words, take back your blessing. And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear your words when you depart out of that house or city, Shake the dust off your feet, breaking all ties. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Matthew 10 verses 11 through 15 of the King James Version. This is integral because I have seen many become offended when they feel as if they have been slighted, but end up coming across as entitled and selfish. Take this to heart and be content within yourself to be consistent and persevere when you know that your purpose is of God and that your intentions are pure because very often it will be just you and Jesus. Remember, for if these things be in you and abound, they make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. Second Peter chapter one, verses eight through 10 of the King James Version. Stop looking to prosper from mere men, most of whom are unstable and fleeting. Rest assured in whom your help comes from, because in the end, it does come down to good or God versus Satan, good versus evil, wrong versus right, and the believer versus the unbeliever. Jesus states it clearly, he who is not with me, believing in me as Lord and Savior is against me. There is no impartial position. And he who does not gather with me, assisting in my ministry, scatters. Luke chapter 11, verse 23 of the Amplified Version. Always coming from a place of love and truth. Thank you for joining me again on my channel. Thank you.